What's going on all my SoFi traders and long-term investors? So let's do a little bit of an update. We've had a good past four or five days, right? So we're coming off the bottom floor here. Again, my chart, uh, you know, all the indicators and uh, studies that I have on my chart has not changed. If you guys have been watching my SoFi updates, you know, for the past few months here, um, you'll notice I kind of, I'm gonna always follow the same technicals and, and the same narrative and the same story, right? So. A couple weeks ago, a few weeks ago, I put in this bottom trend line here. We briefly cracked below it, but very bullish that we were able to reclaim it. So I know once we broke down, a lot of people were a little bit concerned. Again, $4.82, that's our absolute floor. As long as SoFi is trading over $4.82, we feel full confidence in holding this trade, this investment to the long side, right? So we're going to hold over $4.82. What I do like here is when you see us start to base out here on July the 7th, we tested the 50 day moving average as well as on July the 15th. Once we finally cracked over the 50 day moving average, that is bullish guys. I want to you, I want you guys all to take away one thing. If you guys watch my videos, take away this one thing over the 50 day moving average. I don't care what stock it is. I don't care if the market's in a bear market, the market's in a bull market over the 50 day moving average on the daily time frame is bullish guys. Okay. That's where we put risk on is over the 50 day moving average below the 50 day moving average risk becomes off okay under bearish over bullish um now when we do lose the 50 day moving average does that mean you have to sell out of all of your position no but understand that the sentiment changes it it, it changes more towards a sell biased more towards you know uh more bears in the market more towards more red days than green days you can see here we've built three days over the 50-day moving average here i would be expecting some sideways consolidation however long that takes maybe one two three days sideways i can even see a back test coming back into six dollars and fifty cents which is the rising five-day moving average our next price target is going to be seven dollars and forty cents and then seven dollars and eighty three cents anything over eight dollars is bullish i will make another video with the new price targets after that right now as it currently stands is looking at around nine and a half dollars nine dollars and 42 cents but let's take it baby steps at a time i'm not saying that we're going to nine dollars tomorrow the next price target that i want to see sofi hit is seven dollars and 41 cents guys if you're a shorter term trader or a swing trader make sure you're taking profits along the way last thing you want to do is have the stock go up to seven eight nine dollars when you were in at four and five dollars and not take any profits if you're a longer term investor two three four five years long minimum you hold this as long as it stays over four dollars and 82 cents as long as the market is basing out as long as the market is putting in more green days and red days and as long as we stay over these recent lows of four dollars and 82 cents you continue to hold your trade long to the long side hope this video helps if you guys are interested in potentially adding some more income to your uh current sources of income we know that all of 2022 and for especially a lot of small cap stocks all of 2021 has been very very rough a lot of us have lost a lot of money in these longer term holds but th th this is definitely a time where you can you know brush up on your skills learn technical analysis invest into yourself and kind of you know learn how to day trade a little bit i'm not saying you know trade the markets for eight hours all day every day but come into the markets a couple days a week look at your technical level see if you can make a little bit of money to help kind of compensate for some of the stocks that are a little bit slower movers and slower draggers you don't have to just sit there and watch your portfolio bleed out you can definitely hedge and do other things like that but i would definitely recommend to everyone to learn kind of how to day trade not to call yourself you know a day trader and all but you know learn to make some trades in and out intraday especially if you have an account size large enough to kind of do it now you don't need millions of dollars to, to day trade and you definitely do not need over twenty five thousand dollars in your account a lot of newer traders I always see get hung up on, you know, they, well, they can't day trade or they can't, you know, enter in as many trades as they want because they're under PDT rule of 25,000 guys just get a cash account. Any brokerage that offers a cash account, you don't need to follow that. As long as you got money in your cash account, you can get in and out of these stocks and you can trade each and every single day. Hope that helps. Uh, I'd love to see you guys in my discord. All of my information on how you guys can join is down below. Definitely, if this is your first time watching me, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys all next time.